Hello, everybody. King West one seven one here with Plants vs Zombies two part one. Uh, yes, I got a free recording thing. Uh, for my tablet. Recordable dot mobi, as you can probably see in the bottom right hand up corner of the screen. This is my practice file. Uh, yeah, that's my uh, real name. <laughs> uh. So, oh, well, crap, meh, crap. So, yeah, it's getting t some getting used to going from normally an Apple to. Okay, I, I have an iPhone 6 and an Android tablet. <laughs> I got this for my birthday. So, yes, this is, this is what's going to be later in the first world. First world. Yes. Nom nom nom. I eat things because I'm a zombie. Hmm. Should I play through the tutorial for you guys or skip over it? And just explain things, but I'm going to just play through it. For completion's sake. Ready, set, plant. Drag a seed packet onto the grass. Nicely done. Now you can also plant by tapping the seed packet in, on, and then the lawn. Yes. Touch the falling sun to collect it. Or just run your finger over it. One of the two. Sun is 50 a pop in this version. Unlike in PVZ1, where it was... 25 a pop. There's also a fast forward option, which I really like. So, this is just the tutorial. There's not really that much to go into detail on. I've missed recording, so I, I have missed recording. Um, my mom is actually coming up back from, I, I almost said Japan, no, not Japan, Arizona. My mom lives in Arizona right now, and she's coming up for a visit for my birthday. And while we're up here, chances, there's a good chance we're going to be getting my computer back. Like, it's not a guarantee, but there's a good chance, so look forward to that. Sunflowers are extremely important to plant. Try to plant at least three. Okay. Oh. The animations in this game compared to the first one are phenomenal. I'm gonna have a second row of sunflowers just because there I can only just because there's only three spots I can put them at the very back. So, there's that. Brains. Brains. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear me. Brains. What I really like about this tablet is that there's a speaker on both sides of the thing. And sound comes up from both at the same time, obviously. I, I really like that. And a walnut. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's the nuts of walls. <laughs> oh my god. 
And they're facing backward. Ready, set, wait! Having the shovel as a power-up in the first one was kind of stupid. But, you know. King West 171's house, day three. So, post in comments, guys, what I should talk about, because I can't really think of anything. I'm killing zombies. Oxymorons for the win! The Amaterasu can burn fire. More oxymorons! More oxymorons! A soothing rape face. That's another oxymoron. I think. I know, I just kind of came up with it on the spot. So there's that. Fire style, great fire annihilation. Patabo mine. Potato mine, explosive on contact, but it takes time to arm itself. Landmine. This is what I'm talking about. Probably not referencing. So this is usually how I do these beginning levels. So, there's that. Battery low, I don't care. I should probably care. <laughs> Putting the walnuts up there this time because there's probably going to be bucket heads. Actually, not, not probably, there's going, there is going to be a bucket head. Just one though. So I'm preventing an unwanted situation because he will annihilate everything if I let him through. Which is exactly why I'm not going to let him through. Ha ha ha. Found him. Money! <laughs> Money! Yeah, hot sauce. 
Hot sauce. Drink it. Drink all of it right now. Hey, neighbor. Grab a bottle of that hot sauce. I've been holding on to this taco forever. Nom, nom, nom. That was amazing. I won't eat that taco again. I need my time machine. What are you going to do? Go back in time and stop yourself from eating it so you can eat it again? How does that work? Time paradox. What? Her name's Penny, and I'm Crazy Dave. But you can call me just. But you can call me Crazy Dave. Finally, another user who can process my inquiries. Let me postulate. Dave wants to go back to get in time to eat his taco again. She's so smart. I okay. I, I, I'm gonna give Crazy Dave a uh, Patrick voice. She's so smart. Now let's go after my taco. That was a. I. I get the feeling that was a bad, a bad Patrick impression compared to how I normally do. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Welcome to ancient Egypt. Please wait 4,500 years for your taco to be ready. More or less. That doesn't smell right. That doesn't smell right. I was sure my taco was up. Somewhere around, bleh, wait, it's somewhere, it's around here somewhere, but in the meantime, these plants were made for playing. Yes, yeah, so the mechanic of this game, with the different worlds, is going to different time periods and protecting yourself there. They, some, of, so, some, of, some of them are actually pretty dang creative. So, there's that. So far, there's eight or nine worlds. Yes, and I said so far. Battery critically low. Fine, if you're so insistent on wanting me to plug this thing in, I will. Now that we've got introductions out of the way, I think I'll just kill you and... Hey, Vegeta! Oh, what now? I think that's their queen. I'm curious how they breed. Oh, god dang it, Napa, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I started referencing that. I have no idea at all. This guy will try and steal your son. So what I do is I try and grab the sun at the last second, try and delay him for as much as possible. Oops. Oh, he got one. Boom. Those guys that steal your son can get kind of annoying. But I, I usually don't have a... Uh, I, whoa. Put that there. I usually never have a problem with them. They're usually dead by the time they it, it can get to a real problem. For me, at least. So, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Brain, status report. <laughs> Frozen peas.
I may be able to. I may. I just don't thought of this. I might be able to uh, do reaction videos with this recording software. Because all it requires when after you start recording is to go to a different app to start recording. So I could very well just make re reaction videos from this. It's a map. A map to the taco. Why do I care? It's his taco. Why am I even helping him? A portrait of age, a map of space time -ness. <laughs> a parchment of ancient lands with cosmic implications. Good news! Betty found a map to my taco! Now, it, that is a time-space map to other worlds we could explore. Mummies and pirates and cowboys, oh my. We should be able to find some way to access the other worlds. For now, get, for now, we're ready to per, to press on in ancient Egypt. Okay, so all the worlds they have so far: there's ancient Egypt, pirate seas, wild west, far future, dark ages, big wave beach, frostbite caves, and the lost city. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight worlds. I was with the first time. So, uh, I guess this will be the end of part one, guys. I will see you all later. Now, this looks like a map to my taco. To be precise, it is a world map where we can find plants that we can, where we can find plants that can help us and user Dave. There are more important things at hand than. Let's go get my taco.